This is Today with Katie Couric and Matt Lauer, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Anyway, coming up next, voyeurism at its best, and we've got pictures. Well, that's a saucy tease. But first, these messages. It's images from America 24-7. First, these messages. Still to come, one week in America captured in photographs. Photographer Rick Smolin and writer-editor David Elliott Cohen are best known for their series of photography books called A Day in the Life. Well, their days got longer with their latest venture, America 24-7, a collection of digital photographs taken around the country over the course of one week. Armed with digital cameras, from May 12th to the 18th, 1,000 professional photographers and 25,000 amateurs stopped, looked, and clicked. This is good. You're going to like this picture. <laughs> Americans telling their own stories. In a year when many worry about how the world sees us, digital, accessible, instantaneous, and democratic. A way anyone with a camera can freeze a moment, then share it with millions. It's not just professional photographers' sense of what's going on in America. It's all of America participating in this one big, let's see what we look like project. The surprise result of this project was that amateurs often outshot the professionals. And in this war-torn year, it turns out traditional values ruled. When the week was over, respected photo editors culled through the shots, awed. This one is so much stronger. Oh, yeah, it is. It's so much stronger. It is a photographic time capsule of America by Americans. David Elliott Cohen, Cohen and uh, Rick Smolin, good to see you. Nice to see you, Al. Now, you've, you've done the day in the life before. Why did you decide to expand it to a week? I think we felt that... Um, Americans right now are a little bit frustrated with the way that we're being perceived outside this country. People feel like the stories that they would tell of what it means to be American are very different than the ones being told by Hollywood or Madison Avenue or by the government. So we said, let's do a project where we invite anyone in America with a digital camera to submit their own stories to their families, their community, their lives, their children, and to create a, a visual time capsule that maybe 100, 100 years from now will be a really fascinating document at life at a really interesting turning point in American history. And you expanded it to a week. Why, why a week? Well, digital changed everything. Mm -hmm. For the first time, it was sort of a, a dream come true that not only would we have professional photographers, and we did hire a thousand professional photographers, but we could also say anyone in America with a digital camera mm -hmm. can talk about their life, their community, and what it's like to be American. And for the first time, we can build a computer system uh, over the internet where everyone can send that in. But it takes a little longer, so we, we wanted to have a chance for, for the project to build. And 25,000 Americans sent in pictures for us to look at. Were you surprised at the fact that a lot of these amateurs, in some, in a lot of instances, outshine the, the professionals. The soccer moms, in many cases, we had 36 Pulitzer Prize winners working on America 24-7, and uh, I think 14 of them got into the book, and lots of soccer moms and students and amateur photographers, because their work was being judged by the editors from Time and Newsweek and National Geographic and Life and the Washington Post and the New York Times, their work was being looked at on screens right next to the work of the professionals. It was completely anonymous. We yeah, did, they didn't, we didn't know, know. Who, they were, who they were editing. Uh -huh. with, with the technology that we have today, this digital technology, would this have been possible five, six years ago? This wouldn't have been possible one year ago. Really? This is the first year that in 2003 that digital cameras have outsold traditional film cameras. And at least, you know, we, we're in photojournalism world. And at least as far as photojournalism is concerned, it's the future. It's what everyone's going to be doing. And we also live in a much more visually literate culture than we have in the past. And I think if we tried to do this 30 years ago, people wouldn't really know how to capture their communities. Mm -hmm. But they did it this time, and they went back to very traditional things. It I was, was going to say, it, seems, it really seems like that's the, the theme of this, that this is the traditions of America in here. It's like visual comfort food for some, for some okay. reason. People went back in a post 9-11 world. We also say that the, 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 the pictures in America 24-7 are extraordinary pictures of everyday ordinary events. It's not the thing you normally see in the evening news, mm -hmm. but it's things that people relate to. It's their family and their friends. One of the things that we came up with, which is really fun, is um, anybody in America who has a digital camera can send us a photograph. And this is a picture, for example, of my daughter. Uh -huh. And anybody can upload a picture to our website. And for $5.99, a week later, you get a cover back 
and it wraps around the book. Uh. And in fact, David is going to take a picture of you yep. right now. We need to take a picture of <laughs> okay. you, and we're going to put, I got my Olympus here, and I'm going to take a picture of you for America 24-7, <laughs> and you will be on the cover of a book. That's riveting television. Oh, I think oh. you, you, <laughs> took, <laughs> I think you, you took a knee. picture a little That's lower than my face, <laughs> uh, Dave. The indecisive well. moment. <laughs> But what's cool about this, this is great. Yeah, there we go. Ah, ah yeah. yeah. <laughs> so basically, anybody in America can put their own children, their family, their weddings, pictures of their vacation last mm. summer, on the top, on the front cover of the best-selling book in America right now. Well, this is really, uh, in a way, it's a photographic time capsule, and it's a wonderful book and a great photography. And uh, obviously, you guys have done a great job in this. Congratulations. Can, I give, so. can I give the audience the website? It's www.america24-7. Dot com and it's really easy to upload your picture and it shows it to you mm -hmm. what it looks like wrapped around on the screen it's ah. fun just to try it out all right now you know why rick is photographer and i'm you editor, the editor right there. <laughs> okay <laughs> and for a slideshow some of the photographs in america 24 7 check out our website at today.msnbc.com thanks a lot guys thank, thank you. you all right we'll be back in a moment but first this is today on NBC.